Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, today I thought we would do a little chit chat, chitty chat, spill the tea, discuss what's the buzz with the grain free diet. So we've had several questions on this and so I wanna go through with you guys the basics, the when, the why, the how, what's the deal with the uh, grain free. So basically what is grain free? It is a pet foods that have been formulated to take out the grain. So that doesn't mean there's no carbohydrate, it just means that the grain portion of the carbohydrate has been removed. So for example, if the diet contained wheat or corn, those things were taken out and they were substituted with um, usually things um, such as legumes to provide the carbohydrate content. You have to have carbohydrates because that is what makes a kibble a hard little crunchy kibble that sticks together. Without that, you would just have like a mushy, gelatinous, soupy something. And so you have to have the carbs plus they add important nutrients. So that is what grain free is. It is not carbohydrate free. It's just switching out the carbohydrate source from a grain to a um, usually a legume. So what's, why are we doing that? What's the big deal with that? The reason why, I'm not 100% sure, but I have some ideas as to why that started happening. And it's because um, humans, a couple years ago, started to realize that um, gluten-free was beneficial for them. So certain people had certain ailments where they eliminated gluten from their diet and they felt much better. And so wanting to do what's best for their pet they tried to do the exact same thing and so they sought out diets that were gluten free or grain free thinking that was going to help you know various conditions skin conditions itchy dogs things like that and it was a good thought the problem is that's not exactly it doesn't exactly correlate with pets and so Um, And people, you reduce the gluten and it reduces inflammation and it, you know, helps those type of conditions. In pets, the inflammation and the itchiness is not caused by grain or gluten. It's actually the protein source. And so there was a, there's a little bit of a disconnect there, but nonetheless, people went out, they were... Oops. (laughs) They were searching for um, what would be you know, something similar like that for their pets. And so they're looking for these foods. And of course the pet food companies wanting to give people what they want, give the consumers what they want. They started producing these grain free diets and they were selling and they were selling and they were selling. So more companies were making it and more, um, you know, pet food brands were starting to put the grain free on the shelf. So we've already got two problems. One is the grain free really doesn't do anything nutritionally um, for your pet and it's not really cutting down on inflammation. We know that has to be done with a limited you know, protein. Um, the second thing is these companies that put out the grain free foods were doing so without feeding trial um, their diets. They were doing it based on a formula. They needed a certain amount of carbohydrates. They were putting that in, but they were putting it in without grain. They were putting it in with other things. And so they, in the rush to get those things on the market, they just follow the formula and put them on the market. And that's why that AFCO statement that we're always harping on is really important because it tells you right there which companies have done feeding trials to see if the food has um, exactly what is necessary to be safely fed and do what the package label says it does versus just following a formula. And so we will flash up maybe here somewhere the list of pet foods that um, were implicated in the problems of grain fee feeding. So FDA got involved um, when we started noticing issues in the veterinary community with grain free and they did some research and this is the list of companies that had the most issues. And if you go through this list, you'll see that these are companies that did not do feeding trials on their foods. And so there are three companies that traditionally do feeding trials and these are the ones we generally recommend and you'll notice they do not have grain free on their their profile and that's Purina, Hill Science Diet and Royal Canin. Those are the big three and those are usually the three that we recommend because they do these feeding trials. It takes these companies a lot of time and a lot of money to conduct these feeding trials but they do so because they know the food is going to be safe. And so they knew that the grain free substitution was not safe and therefore we didn't see them produce these grain free diets. So when we say not safe, what are we talking about? Well, we have found that dogs that are fed grain free diets have a higher incidence of developing a disease condition called dilated cardiomyopathy or DCM. And basically that is a fancy um, term for saying the muscle of the heart 
has become dilated and floppy. And therefore, when you have floppy muscles, they don't contract properly. And so if your heart doesn't contract properly, that is um, something that will lead to congestive heart failure. And so um, there was a study done by UC Davis, and I'll link that down below and maybe flash it here somewhere on the screen. They were the first um, the first study that was done that showed this condition linked with grade free. And the long and the short of it is they took a group of golden retrievers um, that all developed dilated cardiomyopathy. They were not related genetically at all. And they found the only link was that all these golden retriever, retrievers were fed a grain free diet. And so um, a lot of research has been done and a lot of companies have now jumped on board with investigating this. And so you can find a lot of research out there, but that was the pilot study that discussed um, why grain-free was bad. And so that's why the veterinary community no longer recommends feeding your pet grain-free. One, it does not accomplish anything as far as reducing inflammation or treating skin disease or any other type of allergies because those are usually protein related in dogs. And the second is it can actually cause heart disease. And so now that was a really um, long explanation on why uh, we want to avoid grain-free. We want to stick with foods that have undergone feeding trials and we want to consult with our veterinarian before we make a diet change with our pet because we will be able to help you work through your pet's individual problems. That's what we're here for and that's what we want to do and that's what we like to do. So ask us. We're happy to help you guys. Um, and if you made it through the video, gold star for you. Hopefully you can now go out and make good decisions on what to feed your pet. If you have any questions, you can definitely um, leave a comment down below and we will be happy to answer those the best that we can and maybe do some research on some other diets for you. And I guess we will see you guys next time. Bye.